Oh right. Welcome back to Boss Boss Games, man. I am your host, Boss. Alright, so last we left off on man, we are about to Well, pretty much we finished everything. Well, everything to my best knowledge. Uh that's the only thing I can say. Like I, I finished everything to my best knowledge. Um excuse me. This right here, man, that that was hell on earth. <laughs> Glitched on me and stuff. Couldn't finish that. But we did everything else. But anyway, guys, we're about to finish off this part. This is the last video, the final episode. But anyway, guys, I hope your day is going pretty good. Please like and subscribe to the channel. That really helped me out a lot. Get to it. Okay, let's start. I think when we first walk in, we got to do the mile drill real quick, too. But I think when we first walk in, it's going to hit the cutscene. Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base. You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design. And output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Okay, so real quick before we do anything. The control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. Oh, I gotta go to the control room. That's the funny part. All right, so we'll talk to everybody real quick. See if everybody's cool. We gotta talk to Ava too. So, our enemy is immortal. Most of my people don't survive past thirty. I see you've got your new arm ready to go. Yes. It still feels strange. I've gotten used to the absence. But no matter. I'm sure I will need it before the attack on the Zenith base is through. I haven't seen you since the battle at the Grove. How are you holding up? I saw you fly on the wings of the Ten. And paralyze Regala's army with lightning. I would say that I am... <sighs> inspired. Thank you, I guess. It is I who should be thanking you. All right, I think everything's the same, so we're good. I have to go, but I'll be briefing everyone on the plan soon. 
Understood. Yeah, everything seems the same, so I don't think I need to like look go through everything again. Ava, though, we gotta talk to Ava. With, oh, look at this. Ooh, okay. Aloy, do you have a moment? You, you flew. Cotala told me, and took out Regala's machines. You know what? I don't even know why I'm surprised. I saw we have visitors and a new weapon. Does this mean we're ready to take the fight to the Zeniths? Almost. Oh, and I wanted to give you this for helping me get the data on Leviathan. I didn't really know what to give you, so I asked Zoe what you might like. Thanks, Alva. I'll put it to good use. Okay. Data on the Zeta. Okay. Have you looked through the data we recovered on Leviathan? There is much to sort through still, but I believe we'll be able to get it operational and turn back the floods. And I've given more thought to everything we've uncovered about the ancestors. The overseers would have us believe they were infallible paragons. But Pharaoh wasn't. Not even close. His greed led to machines that devoured the world. The archive of the Old One's knowledge destroyed just to erase his mistakes. So, when we learned that Eileen had a hand in covering up hundreds of deaths, I started to think they were all the same. Selfish, egotistical, cruel. But, in the end, it's not that simple. The truth isn't a straight line of ink on a crisp scroll. It's a splatter, smudged, and faded on stained parchment. I wish Morquen could see that. Instead of looking the other way, or twisting the truth to serve their own schemes. I doubt Bohai would agree with you. No, nor the rest of the Board of Overseers. As Eileen said, it's easier to believe the lie is truth, but it's worth fighting for. And this Diviner, at least, won't settle for anything less. For that, I thank you, Aloy. I need to wrap up a few things, but stay sharp. I'll be ready when you call. Alright. Got that good. Uh, what did she give us? Oh, is it like a... Let me see. It's not a weapon. It's the outfit. Oh. I'm cool, yo. I'm just gonna stick with what I got, yo. Let's see. What is this for? Oh, yeah, yeah. I got you. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's talk to the homies over here. Aloy. It appears that we have some interesting new guests. I'm glad to see you're okay, though. I heard you gave the Tanakh something to talk about. I was half expecting you to burst in through the ceiling riding a sunwing. Sorry to disappoint. I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> I have to go. I trust you to keep things civil around here. I'll make sure Aaron doesn't punch silence in the face, if that's what you mean. Thanks. Okay. And then let's talk to our boy Aaron real quick. Aloy. You came back with some interesting friends. I wish I could say we don't need them. But silence and Tilda are here for a reason. Even Regala. Yeah. Enemy of my enemy and all that, right? Right. All right. I better get going. Oh, you know where to find me. Oh, well, yeah, bro. We know where to find you, huh? But, all right. I think that's everybody. The door's unlocked now. The door. There's a lot of equipment in here. I wonder what it was all for. There you are. All right. Oh, here, I'll do this real quick. It'll, it'll save right here. There you go. Well done, Aloy. Despite my reservations, you managed to secure silence and his weapon. You're truly a shining example of Liz's fortitude. I've been thinking about what you said at your house. How you were friends with Elizabeth. It was more than that, wasn't it? Perceptive as ever. 
You're right, we were together for a time. Okay, so... What happened? I was an orphan. I had always been alone. By my 30s, I was starting to wonder if that was simply my fate in life. And then I met Liz. We kept running into each other at conferences. We'd have coffee. At some point, it became drinks. I thought it was just shop talk an exchange of ideas, but then I was surprised at how much I looked forward to seeing her. Soon we were flying halfway across the world every other week just to meet up. For the first time, I didn't feel lonely. I could imagine a future where I wasn't. I think Liz felt the same way at first. She had lost her mother a few years back. I filled a void for her. I know I did, but as time passed, it seemed as though she wanted less, and I wanted more, and so we ended things. So helping me, restoring Elizabeth's dream, it's what? A, a second chance, yes. I made a mistake leaving Earth while Liz stayed behind. I should have done more. So when I saw you, a woman who has carved her own remarkable path, beyond even what made Liz a phenomenon, I knew I had to help you. To do right by her. Oh, dang. Okay. Looks like there's a lot, so. Why did you make the data channel look like your house? I built that house as a shelter to weather any storm. A safe place, not just for me, but for the art stored in its depths. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly, some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. She needed its shelter even more than I did. Now that I'm thinking about it, right? Like her, like Beta is basically Elizabeth, right? So... <laughs> And that must have been weird seeing your dead girlfriend like a clone. So, I don't know. Why do you think Elizabeth pulled away? I've wondered that for a thousand years. She was brilliant. Visionary. She cared so deeply for the world. For the betterment of humanity. But it also felt like she kept everyone at arm's length, including me. She never wanted to share her burdens. I think, in the end, she had a core that she never let anyone be part of. Sometimes I wonder if anyone really knew her. I found a recording of you and Elizabeth back in the Proving Lab, after Farzinet's attempt to steal Gaia. Yes. A most unpleasant conversation. She said something after the call. I think she regretted how things ended between you. Did she? All this time, thank you for telling me. I've always hated that those were the last words we ever said to each other. And that her last impression of me was as a functionary of Far Zenith, not who I truly am. You said before that you're not like the other Zeniths, that you never were. But you went along with all of their plans. Out of necessity. I'm not proud of it. But complicity became a means of survival, both when Earth was consumed and when the colony on Sirius was destroyed. I did what I had to. But I resolved to remain one step ahead of the others to try to undo what damage I could. Hence the data channel with Beta the secret passage into their base and the little trick I pulled to save you. When it's time to break into the Zenith base, 
What can we expect? I'll go over the full layout once you've assembled your friends. Suffice it to say, we will need to push as fast as possible to Beta and Gaia's location, dealing with heavy resistance along the way. There are also printing facilities where the others have been amassing the natural resources they've stripped from the region. What for? First for use in the base's infrastructure, and then to fabricate more Spectre drones, a small army of them. When I was out in the wilds, I saw a shuttle take off from the island, heading for space. It was likely ferrying materials to and from our ship in orbit. After hundreds of years luxuriating in our digital comforts, the ship was barely space-worthy when we made our escape. Disaster can strike at any moment we've learned our lesson. Have you figured out how Silence's weapon works? No, and he's been very careful not to allow me near it. I'll admit it bothers me, but regardless of how it functions, I am confident it will deactivate the other shields on mass. How many of them are in the base? Ten, including Eric and Gerard. Only a handful of us made it to our ship when our colony collapsed. So, Eric, was he always a bloodthirsty psychopath? I believe he got worse over time. On Earth, he was the founder of a profitable private military company. A band of cutthroats, in other words. Even as governments abandoned human combatants in favor of automated warfare. He found success with clientele that required a more personal touch. There were also rumors that he personally hunted and killed his targets. On occasion, all for the thrill of it. But on Sirius, he retreated to virtual reality simulations. In them, he could go on rampages as violent as he pleased, though I suspect with diminishing satisfaction. All of us try believes he was one of the greatest people from the old world then they would be quite disappointed to meet him. Though I'm sure he'd bask in the adoration. What can you tell me about Gerard? He was the head of the world's largest financial conglomerate, and as such had dealings with almost every major corporation. It made him one of the wealthiest people on Earth, and certainly the wealthiest among Farzineth. What does one person do with that much money? Buy more, more power, more influence. Gerard's always believed himself to be a refined patrician, able to maintain control with a polished smile. But beneath that exterior is a cold and calculating operator. It was his decision to restrict Beta's upbringing to her digital educators, the avatars of the Apollo database, while we were painted as her benefactors. Well, we'll deal with him soon enough. And the others. I would very much like to see his face when he realizes we've beaten him. When I was in the ruins of Vegas, I found data on a man named Stanley Chen. I think he was a Zenith. Stanley, ever the optimist. He was one of the good ones. When we established our colony, he built an exact replica of Las Vegas in virtual reality. Lights, shows, gambling, every detail perfectly recreated. And while others cloistered themselves in their own fantasies, he flung his doors wide to everyone. The way you're talking about him, I'm guessing he didn't make it back to Earth? No, he perished when our colony was destroyed. He would have been thrilled to discover that part of his beloved city survived. When Beta escaped and hid in an ancient research facility, I saw another one of the Zeniths, Verbena. Who was she? A dull star amidst a sea of brighter constellations. Unlike most of Far Zenith's members who amassed their wealth through shrewd business deals and technological achievements, Verbena inherited her billions. Her father had achieved great success in the luxury holotourism industry. At age 24, she became the world's most eligible bachelorette, branding herself a life designer. 
Someone who leverages their fame to influence the choice of others. What? Like a cult? In a way, yes. Well, she must have done something right to have survived this long. She was her own brand of ruthless. That much is true. But even rats can cling to a vessel for escape. Okay, so I've had run-ins with a handful of Zeniths. What about the rest? An array of the wealthiest people on Earth. Titans of their industries. And let me guess, all selfish and ruthless to the core? Most, but not all. There were a few with whom I got along. Annika Merjani, for instance, was always delightful. She founded the Holonet's most successful dance channel and was herself mesmerizing to watch. And I had fascinating discussions with Song Jiao about her work in cellular biology. Our immortality treatments are due in part to her achievements. But then there were others like Devin Miller, the CEO of a fast food printing corporation. His only real preoccupations were perfecting his golf swing and taking self hollows. When I think about all of us, we really should have accomplished more. We had eternity. Okay. I'll let you know when it's time. I'll be here until then. And thank you, Aloy, for giving me this chance. My past has always been a struggle. More than once I've lost everything. But when I look to the future, I see Liz's dream fulfilled. A universe of new possibilities. Maybe we can make it happen. We will. I won't let anything get in the way. I promise you that. Okay. Man, that was a long, long talk. But it was great, though. You know, we got a little bit of backstory. Didn't know that she was a couple. So let me... uh. See what this is. See if we can do the mandro. I believe we could do the mandro. Maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us. But is okay. anything I should handle before that? Oh, huh. what's this? Looks like there's some data here. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. It explains all the drones I found out in the wilds. I should be able to reconnect all of them now. Look at that. Boom. There we go. All drones are reconnected to the dome now. Look at that. All done. I guess it's just doing all of them. I think there was like, what, 10 of them? All right, man, they was a, ooh, there was a beach to do. So this a couple, like three of them was like difficult. Like I was just like, yo, what is this? <laughs> the rest was pretty easy, you know, just gotta hop onto stuff. But yeah, there was like three of them. That was just like, yo, bro, excuse me. But um, yeah wasn't bad at all grabbed all of them do everything in the collectible yeah reconnect the 10 i knew where it was yeah, what is this though Okay. Oh, that's dope. Let me get the rainforest, man. I think I like the rainforest better. I don't know which one it is. I think, yeah, this one. I don't know why, but it looks dope. Ah, nice. Oh, I think this is the, yeah. Actually, the rainforest. Yeah, I don't know which one it is. Um, all right, this one. I think this is the rainforest. I think all oh, that's the rainforest, but I just want the rainforest where it rains and stuff. That would be dope. All 
Oh, that's the snow. <laughs> I thought it was the rainforest. Uh, what is this one? Let me just check this one real quick and see what it is. Can't believe we got all the freaking drones, dude. Crazy. Oh, there it is. Pretty much the forest and stuff. Yeah, let's just go everybody real quick. All right, people. I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone. We all know what's at stake. Beta. Gaia. Not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You too? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. You with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. Oh. Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right. But why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zenus. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Silence is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life. All right, let's go. Not to the command, if I think we already did, didn't we? All right, let's go. We're finally doing this. 
Never thought I'd be off on a mission to take down a bunch of immortals from the stars. I can hear the drinking songs already. Uh, by the way, we should probably discuss the sons of Prometheus. You know, since we've both been looking into them. If you have time, obviously. Oh, we already talked about them. I found out who's running the sons. Yeah, see? She was one of the first, but when I thought... Well, she's... We have to find... I haven't had so I'll be scared. I'll keep track. We'll find her. Yeah, we already did. I guess I should get going. I'll see you at the rendezvous point. With my hammer ready. I wouldn't have it any other way. Let's talk to everybody saying, hey man, we're on the way. I haven't seen the uh, Cyrus yet. I hope everybody's ready for this. Fighting the Zeniths isn't going to be easy. Aloy, nothing you do ever is. At least now you don't have to do it alone. Thanks. I should go. I'll let you know when I'm ready to head to the base. Before you do, there is one favor I would ask of you. What is it? You placed this focus in my care and gave me the highest calling an Utaru has ever known. If I should fall in battle, I'd like you to be the one to bury my seed pouch. For the both of us. So? Make sure you stay alive to do so. Let's just try to all come back home. Okay? Yeah. Like, that's depressing as hell, dude. I ain't gonna bury you with the baby. Real quick. I'd be lying if I said I'm not slightly apprehensive. The plan will work if we all focus on our assignments. Right. I need to get going. I'll be at the rendezvous point. May truth lead us to victory. Air time. Air. Oh, where the hell is that dude? I'm real quick. So, how are we feeling about the mission? I do not know everything that you have planned, but it doesn't matter. All that remains is to follow you to the end, whatever that will be. Thank you, Katalo. I'm glad all this brought us together. You brought us together, and I am grateful too. I'll see you soon then. It will be my honor. Okay. Welcome back, Aloy. Would you like to continue our chat? Oh, nope. I should be going. I'll be making final preparations. Okay. Huh. I don't know where he's at. Oh. He went up way over there. Yeah, he's gone, man. I don't know where he at. Oh, uh, before I forget. I watered those plants for you. Yep, there he is. You need something? Bravo. You managed to sway a zenith to your side. Care to explain? Not a chance. I thought you said the weapon was ready. There's always room to optimize. But that's not why you're here. I assume you want to comprehend my undertakings. So, ask away. Since when were you so forthcoming? Since you turned this into a waiting game. And as it seems you have found modest success perhaps I'm willing to be generous okay so your big plan everything you've been manipulating for the last few months let me see if I got this straight you learned about the Zenith from Hades when you interrogated it then you came up with a plan to defeat them by using a Tanakh army and that weapon and to get the Tanakh to fight for you you, or rather the sons of Prometheus, armed Regala's rebels with override tech. Did you have an actual question, or are you still playing catch-up? So all this time, even before I found the coordinates at the Spire, you were out here scheming. Why couldn't you just tell me? When I learned of the Zenith's return to Earth, I laid out my plans. 
I knew I would one day require an army of overzealous Tanakh to assault the Zenith base. The casualties would be extremely many. And I knew you would never allow such a sacrifice no matter how necessary. Thus, I devised a means to remove your interference from the equation at the Hades Proving Lab. You wanted me to surrender to the Zenus at the Hades Proving Lab. They almost killed me. Based on everything I knew about them, I concluded they would find you a useful asset. Thereby keeping you out of harm's way, and more importantly, out of my way. So you really didn't know they had their own clone of Elizabeth? No. Unfortunately, there was no way I could have known that particular detail. Detail? Well, I guess if it wasn't for that, we wouldn't be here today. Tell me about the weapon. How does it work? I've upgraded the delivery system. It now emits a wave-like effect covering a significant distance. <sighs> that doesn't fully answer my question. No, but I'd be a fool to reveal its inner workings. After all, why did you withhold your plan for dealing with the Zenith drones? Yes, even you can appreciate the value of secrecy when warranted. Suffice it to say that the weapon will work. The intricacies of how is knowledge that is mine alone. Why create the Sons of Prometheus? You didn't need a Sarah to make override tech. They were a necessary safeguard. My time serving Hades and the Eclipse demonstrated the risks of getting directly involved. Through the Sons of Prometheus, I could execute my plans, all while remaining anonymous. Except to a Sarah. How did you get a Sarah to work for you? I knew there was an associate of the Asaram Tinker, Durval, who escaped his failed assault on Meridian. It was trivial to track her down and gain her cooperation. She wanted to succeed where Durval had failed. So you promised her Regala and the Tanakh. The Sarah would help you create a machine writing army and wanted to see Meridian burn as much as she did. And so a partnership was born out of thirst for blood, bonded in mutual self interest. You think you had everything figured out, huh? I did. Why help Regala take over? If you wanted an army, you could have just gone to Hakaro. Before Regala's rebellion, Hakaro was only concerned with battling machines and fostering friendships with Akarja. Even if I gained his ear, he would never agree to send his forces to battle a threat he couldn't understand. So helping a bloodthirsty exile was easier? Yes. Exceedingly so. All Regala craved was war against the Karja and anyone who threatens the Tanakht. She would have led the tribe into battle without question, which was precisely what I needed. While I was out there, I had a couple run-ins with the Quen. The tribe from across the ocean. And? Their entire tribe was shaped around the discovery of focuses. One of them, Alva, even joined me here. Don't you want to know more about them? No. They stumbled upon the greatest technological artifact from the ancient world, and what did they do with it? They shrouded the knowledge they unearthed in mysticism and taboo, creating a pantheon out of corporate shields. Yes, well, it also led them to Thebes. Did it now? So those run-ins with the Quen I mentioned, on one of them, I teamed up with their expedition to search Thebes. We found Pharaoh at the end. You must have needed Omega clearance. So, what was it like? Worse than you can imagine. He single-handedly wiped out collective human knowledge. I'm sure it was still less than he deserved. Let me guess. You would have scraped him into a jar so you could prod his brain, like what you did with Hades. For a start. All right, Silence, I think I've talked to you long enough. I'll let you know when it's time to go. And try not to mess with Tilda while you're in here, okay? I don't need the two of you butting heads. Ah, uh, yes. About your Zenith ally. I wonder if you understand what kind of person you're dealing with. For someone to live as long as she has, outlast as many calamities, well, your goals may be aligned now, but I'd watch for the moment they diverge. Yeah. I'm aware. 
Reminds me of someone else I know. Survival is only a necessity to my greater purpose, Aloy. I'd hoped you'd recognize that by now. Do you know something or not? Oh, I know a great deal of things. But on this, you just call it a feeling. Oh, a feeling? You mean you finally had one? Huh. Guess even you can change, Silence. Okay, we're done with everything. Ah uh, la la la. Wait, hold up. What the heck was in here? Oh, this exit. This is this a talk to everybody? Oh no, I'm not doing that. Um, let's see. Check the map. Uh, let's go up. Okay. We gotta go all the way over here. Okay. That's simple. We did a lot of talking, man. Let me check the time. 40 minutes. It took 40 minutes to talk to everybody. <laughs> man, bro. It took 40 minutes to talk to everybody. Now we can start the real action. Oh. Man. It took so long. But I think we're all stocked up pretty much. Um, I think we're good. Let's go whoop some behind, y'all. I was thinking about bringing food too, but I'm like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm cool. I think I'm great. Uh, we're good. So, oh, I should have got some. Right, I need this book. Wait, well, okay. Before we do that, we could just hit a town real quick. Is there a town somewhere? Let me hit town real quick and. Hunter, wait. Oh, that's my head town and pay for everything. I, I could just pay for anything, or I'll just, yeah, no, nah, I'll pay for everything. Why not? So I could just, you know, <laughs> it is, let's start the main mission. This is the finale, man. This is it. Sad part is, I'm still editing to the first video. <laughs> I've been in the one video, uh, uh, actually done editing. I just got combined the collection video. And then, uh, the, the video where I got a glitch, I still got to edit that one. So this might be on Friday, probably. Probably tomorrow, everything will be done. No. But, uh, let me see, where is it at? Where's my stash? I'm gonna go to my stash real quick. Where's it at? Oh god, Lee. Where am I? At? Where am I? I'm trying to look for my stash real quick. Up here? Okay, cool. Oh. We don't talk. Oh. <laughs> That's. I oh, know I that sound stuck in my head right now. That bar is I gotta do this real quick and then Okay, let me do this real quick. Where's the go back into stats real quick. I can take some stuff out. Come on, come on out. I gotta take some more stuff out. Uh, even though, like, I upgraded the pouch and stuff. Everything is good. Okay. Good now. Okay. Very cool. Uh, la, la. Now, all the way back here. <laughs> I don't, that was far. Uh, but yeah, we were almost done. I can't wait to see the finale. Haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty sure everybody else finished and getting ready for Final Fantasy that's coming out tomorrow or Friday. So I'll be playing that game for tomorrow, coming out on Saturday, because you know, make I make large videos. I make a big walkthrough and stuff, because I could play an hour straight without moving. <laughs> so, um. I could make a, 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 back in the day, I used to make like 30 minute videos and stuff, but I can make 4K videos, make it an hour and 30 minutes long because 
People is into more longer videos now. Alright, so where are we supposed to like be? The heck? Oh. Where are we supposed to be? Oh, this If you be, if you proceed past this point, you'd be locked into the overworld beyond the beautiful. Yep. They always give you that option. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy. We're on our way. Do it. Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Erend, you're with me. You guys, take the high ground in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. Then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. Aloy. We're here. And we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. Okay, so how will we do this, though? Like, Get to we... the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Ahead. Company, follow my lead. That's what I do. No point using fire against that. Could kill him. I kind of don't want to. <gasps> there are openings somewhere, or do we have to go around? You know, we gotta go that way. Ah, can't use that now. Do I see us? Yep. Oh. 
Okay. Well, it's all good. I can't wait. Okay. I'm getting hit everywhere, but take him down. I'm out. Oh. I can keep this going. I'll back up from it. Hit it again. No, I am. Where you at? Golly! Did hell of damage to me. Because we just gotta do plasma. Wow, I missed. Thank Take you, man. Like Sorry, Aloy. I gotta do this real quick. This is doing hell of damage to me. It was killing me though. Hold up. Ooh, I'm about to run out of life. Pretty dang fast. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. Need some help though. Oh, I could have grabbed that. Could have grabbed the gun. I could have grabbed the gun. All right. I don't see any other flowers and stuff. Okay, here we go. Yeah, hella damage. But all right, let's go. What's in this backpack, metal bricks? Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. Okay. It's creepy in here. Don't worry, I'll protect you. Oh, I think there's water down there. Hey, you swim. I'll stay nice and dry. I think we have to swim. Honestly. Get over there. Ink. Oh, here we go. Yeah, come over here sooner, man. Oh. How you get over there? Can we please leave the cave now? Didn't you just say, like, we have to... Yeah, I wish I had a glider. Oof. I guess I'll find another way across. There we go. All right, that would be good. There's a lot of dead machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. Another specter. Sneak or fight, you choose. I mean, is there? What? I just did. I knew his weakness. <laughs> That's it. There we go. Yeah, they did hit a lot of machines and stuff. 
Is that another gun we could have got? Do that boom. Alright. Hey, just here. This'll help. The inspectors are good for We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. Okay. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess uh that dead one's handy enough. Alright, let's go. Am I shooting us with arrows? Hey, you remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, instead of the whole world? Oh, yeah. Good times. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Spectrums. Oh, there's three of them this time. Ugh. That's tough as hell. I can't sneak past him. I'm sorry. Him with this too. Dodged it. Oh, dodge it again. Oh, I couldn't see. Oh. I'm back up. Dang it. If I could climb back up there. I can't see. You get so close to you. I can't even see. Yeah, hold up. Let me get up here. Get up there. Come on. I can't see. <laughs> oh, I miss. Oh wait, <laughs> it bounced off him. I think that's all of them. Get down. At least. Let's push on. Oof, okay. Let's do this real quick. Uh make sure everything's good. Yeah. There's the gun again. You know what? Next one, I'm going to look for the gun. I'm going to look for it. Because every time, I I never see it. I could use that against these uh, foes. Okay. Uh, Any more flour? 
I don't see any more flour. I need this though. I need to use it, dude. Like, there it is right there. Ah, uh, what is this one? Is the disc? Let me see. Oh, okay. That's actually a great weapon. Explode on impact. Here, of this rock. I, I give uh, I give him credit for carrying that backpack. They have to be heavy. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. I'll try not to complain. I can see the way forward. I'll keep moving. Not as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. More specters. All right, here we go. You're the only one. But there's two How of them. Spectres to the Zeniths have. Maybe something of more than we want to fight at once, that's for sure. Looks like the others have things under control. Take it to pieces. Oh, still hit me. Yeah, I know, but if I Ooh, got Lee. I did it from far away. I was like, you shoot like a Notaro. Come on, hey. up the slab. Hey. Oh, Aloy, Alva and I are in position. Do it. Blow the regulator. A moment while I ignite the charges. All right, here we go. and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. Come on, Beta. Come on, come on, come on. What is that? the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. That's crazy, dude. It is great, though. We gotta go. I'm gonna grab that, uh, my heal real quick. What is it? The 
we had to do all this climbing. Everybody's getting knocked out. But a big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha. A big rock. I don't know. Talking about. That's not all the specters are fighting our machines. There you go. use a lot of these but oh got me in the face Ooh. I can't even see oh got me Lee, let me right in the face. Oh, I think explode in a second. There we go. Before I do that, let me uh get everything back real quick. It'll give us most of our stuff back. Hopefully. I don't know what this does, man. <laughs> like just some parts. Let me go grab all of that real quick and then we'll head over there. Just gotta make sure I don't run out of materials and stuff. There we go. Gotta make sure we don't. Baldy are fighting another spectrum. I think they can handle it. I need to start taking out these bombs and stuff and start hitting them with this. I think we're all good. We're all set. Okay, can't climb me that. Oh, let me grab this, dude. Ran out pretty soon. What are we going to get? Let me see. Thank you. Oh, here we go. Big jump. To the right, I think. I don't know how you even got over here with this. And now to the left. Grab everything I can. You Grab. can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just collect everything. By the blood of the ten. Oh, I got this on. I guess we're not going for stealth, baby. Damn that was fast, dude. Man, I still get it. Oh. 
Here I come, here I come. Get some life now. Get this real quick. In case anybody else show up. Oh, it's that pick up five heavy weapons. Okay, cool. Here I come. Bring this with me though. Okay, here we go. Yeah, it's taking a while, but hey, I'm bringing this with me. Whoa. Look at all this zenith space stuff. Oh, we got a climb. I wanted to take that. What, what is this anyway? Is this like a. Hey, I wanted to. Alright, here we go. I wanted to come with me. We do not need all that. Oh, this is valuable stuff. Ah, don't need that. Oh, it was like, have more supplies to me. I've been trying to. Let me check something real quick. Oh, never mind. Can't do anything. All right. been causing all the fuss. Matilda's little pet. Silence. Zenith inbound. Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless. You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze through the cracks into our basement. Silence. One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No, nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light them up! <laughs> Are we supposed to be scared?
can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Dang, I don't know how we survived that. <laughs> I gotta get to the top of the tower. I hear you. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. <laughs> Whoa! I can't let him catch me. Oh, Kali. I got hit with the feet. Oh. I'm about to get hit real quick. Oh my god. No I'm trying to reload. Oh, now you do it. Wow, you miss? Rescue your sister. 
I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. I might as well use it. All right, let's go. All right, there we go. Where are we heading? We're just going up. Looks like the machines and specters are almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have. Alright. No problem. I mean, we're better calling her Danae and Drake at the moment, so I got it. But... All right, here we go. Woo! Ugh, man, I couldn't do it. Is everyone all right down there? Yeah, mostly. We're cleaning up the last few spectres. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know, but there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alba? Alba! What's going on here? Maybe I can help me figure it out. If she's okay. Oof. Nemesis, huh? That don't sound right. Uh, but where is it? Okay. Here we go. Gotta figure out where we should go. Hey, come on. Almost to the top. A final battle is gonna be with uh what's his name? Jero? <laughs> Jero? That's our final battle, pretty sure. I think we gotta go. Oh. There we go. I gotta say the game was really good. It's just the It's just the glitches was just out of this like out of control really bad. Uh, let's see. Oh here we go. There we go. There you go. Oop. Okay. Got stuff from. Okay. Gotta go like this. This way. Yeah, there's a lot of uncomplete games. So hopefully. They up uh, patch this game, which they already did, but it made it worse. You've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look, escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. 
The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenith colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence. A way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect. Abandoned, but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us. Including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world together where that monstrosity could never find us what no i loved elizabeth more than you could ever know and i let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity a mistake i have regretted for a thousand years now she stands before me again not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime. To me. Take cover! Get to the door! Aloy, you can't win. No. I've heard that before. Of course she betrayed us. I don't even think we can stand it. Get through all that armor before I can do some damage. Okay, we see. Sticks and stones against the lightning. Oh. 
Oh, I missed too. Dang it. Yeah, I forgot I had these. Take it. I miss. I can target its gold plating. Oh, that thing's fast. I need the what's it called? Big impact. What? I cannot treat him until you cannot. Oh. Golly. Oh. You cannot win. Back up. Ugh. Ever comes over here. Oh, golly. Oh, golly. Haha. <laughs> all good. It's all good. You good. Oh. Thank you. Collectible for it. Hold up. Can we can we search real quick? Thank you. All right, let's go. Don't. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith shields. 
Everything I did to create the rebel army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakht. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith colony in a matter of hours. What hope does this primitive tribal Earth have? If you brought Gaia, you wouldn't be abandoning life. You'd be saving a seed for a new world. Just as Elizabeth did. It's the choice she made. The sacrifice of all that is for the hope of what might be. If she were here in your place, she would board that shuttle, Aloy. Found her. Is she hurt? She's still on her feet. Thank the turn. Goodbye, Silence. She looks okay. She looks victorious. As always. Eloy. You did it. Where's he going? As far away as anyone can go. Oh. Are you sure? You're staying. For a time. You people are going to need all the help you can get. Does anyone else need a drink? Not if it's that ale of yours. Uh, I'd be fine with a nap. Excellent idea. Uh, I hope it's really over this time. There's another battle ahead, Elizabeth. Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in 
Ravens tried. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. and the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I feel like I'm not alone. Okay, I believe that is the end. Can't control it or nothing. Oh, can't control it or nothing. But anyway, guys, uh, that's the end. I'm guessing Nemesis is gonna be either a DLC or it's the next game. Uh, excuse me. Uh, it's either a DLC or the next game. But anyway, I have fun playing this game. The only thing that sucks is the glitches and the and the patches was not good. Made the game worse. But anyway, guys. Hope your day is going pretty good. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helped me out a lot. Uh, maybe in the future I will play the first game. But anyway, I'm out. Thank you guys for watching. Till next time I'm out. To be continued.